Okay, so yesterday when I was cleaning out my hay cutter, I noticed that there are a lot of caterpillars. See? That's a little one. So they said on the head, they have like a yellow Y. And then on the butt, they've got four dots. Gosh, I've never had any pests in my hay field ever. Yeah, we got some rain <laughs> falling on my tuff, which was pretty close to being dry. and welcome back again. I'm Suzanne, I'm WT Farm Girl, and we are doing another flashback video to summer of 2021 when we were working on our first cutting Teff hay. We already saw some of the issues we were having with our cutting, and we had a problem that I never in a million years would have expected. Yes, army worms. Did not see that coming, never heard of them, never knew that there could be any sort of bug issue. Now, curiously enough, they didn't affect any of my other hay fields, just the tough field. I just can't win on that field, I'm telling you. So today we're gonna go through and we're going to ted the hay field and then we're going to rake the hay field. Tough grass is very, very hard to dry. It's a lot like rye grass. It has a very thick waxy outer coating but because it is so fine, our crimpers on our hay cutter do not really have much of an impact on it. So all you can do is just head it and rake it and head it and rake it and give it lots of time to dry. half an hour to head that whole thing and yeah I was flying as fast as I could <sighs> it's definitely a little bit more wet underneath those trees down there so we might have to wait and bail out tomorrow which if this is gonna be dry enough this afternoon to bail I could probably go through gather it stack it on the trailer and uh I don't know what it's gonna
gonna happen after that. I think it's gotta go in the hayloft. Yay! Which means I get to stack it in there. All right, and while the hay is busy drying, I decided to take the side-by-side -side out into the horse pasture and do some weed spraying. So I jump on the side-by-side -side with my trusty dog and away we go. interesting expressions on her face this entire time. It is the typical dorky dog look and she is clearly just having the time of her life just sitting there with the wind blowing in her face. <laughs> got done spraying the pasture it was back out to the hay field to go through and rake it we have to rake it and then we're gonna bail it hopefully we can get it done but there's a little bit of problem that seems to be cropping up can I get it done in time it's not looking promising all right guess what I'm gonna do right now I'm gonna rake hay with the two I am I've been wanting to try it for a while and the only reason I haven't done it before now is because the TYM has always had the grapple on it and the rear lift. I don't know where Eric stuck at us over there somewhere. So it just has always been easier to uh, detach stuff off the new Holland and then put the rake on. But Eric was so kind enough on lunch to detach everything for me so that I could take it, get the field headed, and then rake it. It's been moving. You know, I guess probably the biggest thing I really don't like about the TYM is the straw bar. It's just kind of strange. All right, so we've got a major problem right now. It's mostly like an 8% chance of rain, which is pretty standard for Michigan. That doesn't look like 8% to me. That looks like 100% to me. It's already gotten rain on once and I don't want any more. So I don't know. Even if I was able to get it bailed and onto a trailer, I don't I don't know if I'd be able to get it done in time before that cloud comes through. I'm just nervous guys. I don't want this rain on again. I want a good solid hay crop. Literally getting darker and darker and darker. I mean it's looking black over there. Just black. That's gonna be a little tricky. I don't want a lot to be grabbed. I'm gonna try one side down and see how that goes. I've never had to do that before, but this stuff's really, really thick. So I don't wanna overload my baler too much. You know, for the longest time, you guys were telling me that these V rigs tend to roll the hay, and I just honestly didn't see it. I didn't have an issue with my orchard grass, not the first cutting, not the second cutting, but the tough. Looking at this footage, you can actually see it rolling the tough grass. It's kind of funny. And now I totally understand what you're saying. This is so fluffy and light. 
that maybe it won't make a difference if I have a big giant window. And it feels like it's dry. It really does. I'm not sure what the moisture is, but it definitely feels like it's dry. I think it could probably be bailed tonight. I think, I think. <sighs> All right. So here's the problem. If I leave it overnight, the dew does not come off the field until 11 in the morning. So that means 11 in the morning, I can finally go through and flip it over so that everything underneath can dry from the dew. Unfortunately, we're supposed to get rain at 11, possibly. 25% chance. So lately that's not a risk that I wanna take. So I guess I'm gonna try my best to get this off the field tonight. Oh, gravy. Okay guys, I'm gonna do it, so <laughs> wish me luck. I'm gonna put the other side down and we'll see what we end up getting. All right, so here's another problem that I hadn't quite expected. And that is the rake collecting so much grass that it literally gets wound up in the rake. I'd always wondered about that, but I could definitely see it was going to be an issue on this tough field, especially with both rake sides down. A couple of times it, it definitely got a little hairy and uh, I knew it was gonna be a lot of fun <laughs> trying to bail it later and uh, you'll see how that goes when you inadvertently create the world's largest windrow of a 
Jeffe. It's literally chest high. Yeah, that that was my bad. It just kind of it just kept coming. All right, so now that it's raked and it's been tedded, all we can do is just let it dry and hope that I can get it bailed before the rainstorm comes. Because guess what, guys? There's one on the way. But you won't find out until the next video when we go through and bale the tough hay and you get to see what the moisture content was and did we actually beat the rain. I'll give you a hint. Bailing day was not a good day. It just was not. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate you guys taking your time to watch these videos. If you enjoyed it, if it gave you a smile, if it gave you a grimace, give the video a thumbs up. We're gonna be doing more hay videos, fresh ones coming up in just a few months. Can you believe that? Like five more months, you guys are gonna have like full on real-time hay videos. Crazy. In the meantime, go back and watch some of my old ones and then you'll have something to compare this year too. Thanks so much guys. Take care. Until next time. See you later. Bye.